Welcome back to Arlen Plays Mega Man X, Episode 4, Flame Mammoth. So, last time we took down Storm Eagle, got ourselves an, a headgear upgrade, so now we can bust through some ceilings. So, if I remember correctly, I believe that uh, I can blow out his flames. So, I've decided to go that way. Let's see what his special abilities are, shall we? Let's see, height 10 feet. Wow, he's a big... Wow, alright. Fire wave, oiling, jump press. Well, alright, let's give it a shot. Da, da, da. Onward. And again with the teleporting in. Huh. Okay, this is interesting. Looks like a factory area. The music certainly fits. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not right. Okay, that's that's cool. Alright, I'm not entirely sure what level it what which level had this effect, but I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be like flat out lava down here. And the fact that it's cooled over indicates to me that something I did in another level had an impact here. Which is pretty cool. You don't see that too often, even in Mega Man games. Okay. I don't want to get stuff dropping on me. Alright, I'm trying to place where these are from. Like, I know... I know I've seen that in another level, I just don't know what it is. And this robot had... I don't know. Well, either way, it seems to be a uh, facility for melting down or destroying robots, so that's that's one important thing. Alright, let's take a look. Hello. What are you? That looks like a breakable ceiling. Okay, look at that. Busting my way right up. And we have a capsule. Excellent! This capsule contains a part which will increase the capabilities of your X-Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Again, very concise. And I apologize if I sound a little like William Shatner while I'm doing this. Unfortunately, it's that whole scrolling and reading it before t saying a thing. Okay. So what's this an upgrade to? Ah, that's right. Manly Pink. Okay, that is a cool effect said that I can use to fire all kinds of weapons, so let's see what we got here. Alright! Creates a nice sled. I remember that now. Alright. You know, it occurs to me, I have not yet used our new power, so let's do that. Let's go test this thing out. On an enemy, preferably. Okay, now that's cool. It's the charged up version. Oh! vertical. Okay. Useful given his general lack of vertical options. I'm beginning to think this place is more of a refinery. They seem to be breaking stuff down rather than making new things. Okay, so that's what I figured those were. Ow. That's such a pain. These things are really accurate, though they don't seem to have much way of defenses. Ah, and look at that! Another thing adding to this whole comeback and see the level again kind of mentality. In this case, it was after I beat one of the other levels. I'm not entirely sure which. Speaking of which, since there are going to be levels where I'm not going to be able to get everything in the first try, I am going to have an episode after I defeat the main bosses here, in which I go back through and actually collect some of the other power-ups. So, they, it will be taken care of. You know what? I want I want to go back to using my normal. Okay, the fact that it's giving me a blast behind me is kind of intriguing me. I'm wondering if that actually does damage. So. All right. Yes, yes it does. Excellent. It's over here. Ah, here we go. Another energy tank. I thought there was a reason I put that up there. That right there is definitely good level design. I mean, admittedly, again, we come back to that it's not realistic, but it definitely works in the game setting. Because everything seems to hint at where things are. I mean, aside from the Hadoken, which I managed to find when I was a kid by sheer dumb luck, I, 
everything seems to be... It's out of the way, but it's not too difficult to find, and there are clues that you can pick up on just by playing. Why, hello there, indestructible thing. Crusher. Okay, I like the fact that it just sort of compresses it. It doesn't actually destroy it outright. That's a nice touch. Although, if this had been lava like I remembered it being, that would be so difficult. No margin for error. Another level where I wouldn't want to deal with this first. Okay, I'm betting that that's hazardous. Can I kill those? No, I can't. They're just a hazard. Excellent. And these freaking things. I hate those guys so much. Still, the new charge definitely takes care of them, so I'm definitely appreciating this X-Buster upgrade. This is definitely another level where the music really lends the mood of this place. And we've made it to the boss. Most excellent. I'm going to have to try out some powers, though, and see what he actually is weak against, because I don't remember entirely. I think it's Storm Eagle, but... Oh, so they put even a moving thing in the bottom of this. I didn't remember that. Okay, that doesn't seem to be any more effective than otherwise. Okay, so he's got oil. Does the oil even do anything to you directly? No, it doesn't. That's interesting. Okay, so he changes that, and he... Sets things on fire, including the oil. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Alright, time to start shooting again, though. Changes the direction again. That doesn't mean very really much. This, on the other hand... Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, with that kind of a damage. So it looks like the main things he does is just... making you get knocked over putting the oil on there and uh, changing direction. I wonder. Maybe somebody else knows this, but... Uh, or I can see for myself, I suppose, if he does change the direction. But I seem to remember that if, it, if the oil spills get far enough that they actually get... Uh, they actually disappear. And victory is mine. I've been waiting for this flamethrower. I was a little too close for comfort, though. Still, I think that this one wasn't quite as well designed as Storm Eagle. I, I think Storm Eagle definitely fit much better. Him, he just kind of doesn't feel like he has much power at all. Oh, nice flamethrower. That makes sense. Can't even. I can't remember what the charge thing is, but I guess I'll find out next episode. So, that was Flame Mammoth. If you at all liked what you saw in this video, please click like and highly consider subscribing. I come out with a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so please leave me some feedback, leave me some suggestions for Let's Plays, whatever you feel like doing. Next time on Arlen Plays, what should I do? Let's see. I'm thinking Spark Mandrel. Hope to see you there.